All right, guys, thanks for joining in to my Ocean One channel, and I wanted to hop on here and um, do a quick video because we just got breaking news from Fisker because Fisker has finally broken its silence on this. And if you watched my previous video that I actually did today, that's actually what I was looking for is I was looking for, you know, news from Fisker, confirmation from Fisker, and we got it. Now, I've got my glasses on because I'm going to need to read this from my wife's phone and I'm just going to share it with you okay so just bear with me here as I read it uh, this is by Claudia Assis and it's from Market Watch News I actually uh, I got it through my e-trade feed so here we go EV maker uh, let me start over I'm gonna start at the top Fisker breaks silence about potential bankruptcy here's what it had to say EV Maker is still aiming to strike a deal with another car maker. Fisker, late Thursday, you know, which is of course right now, tried to ward off talks of potential bankruptcy filing, saying it engages with advisors as a matter of course and that it still aims to strike a deal. Okay, I had to turn the page here. To strike a deal with another car maker. Fisker's stock was halved on Thursday, yeah, no kidding, following a report Wednesday by the Wall Street Journal that the beleaguered EV maker was exploring a bankruptcy filing and had hired restructuring advisors. Late Thursday, Fisker executives said in a statement that, in general, it does not comment on market rumors and speculation, but they went on to say that the company often works with outside advisors to help manage the business and assist in developing and ex executing strategies, which is what I spoke about in the video prior that you, some of you probably just watched. Uh, Fisker is focused on raising additional capital and engaging in a strategic partnership with a large automaker. So, you know, hopefully that's that's Nissan that we've been speculating about from the Reuters news. The EV maker said, uh, the plan to shift its direct-to-consumer strategy to a dealer model is still on track. Is still on track, the company said. The leadership team is laser-focused on these efforts, Fisker said. So, that's the breaking news, and I told you guys that I would do my best uh, to keep you guys informed. You know, and you know, you guys are going to get this news as quickly as I do in some cases, but you know, not not all of my viewers are going to uh, know about that or be aware of that. So this is a very big positive because this is what we needed for Fisker. Fisker is basically coming out and saying, "Yeah, we brought in some people, we brought in a team, but they're not there for bankruptcy." So you know, gosh, you know, it makes me just want. Fisker to sue the daylights out of uh, the Wall Street Journal, but if you watched my previous video, you notice how they worded it, potential bankruptcy, so, you know, nothing will probably ever be done about this, and, and they'll get away with it, and like I said earlier, you know, I think there's forces out there that just do not want Fisker to succeed, so right now, you know, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, about getting back in and buying back quite a few of my shares. Now, I, I didn't buy back all of them, and I probably won't buy back all of them. Uh, you know, I got plenty, but uh, this, this is good news, and uh, I hope you appreciate me getting on here and do this. So if you found this helpful, uh, if you're liking my content, uh, as I say in my other videos, always, always like the video, please, because that helps the YouTube alg algorithms. And the one thing that I really want this channel to do is have accurate information for Fisker and the company. That's all I'm going to try to do for you guys is get accurate information. And, I, you know, the reluctant YouTuber, I've, I've kind of labeled myself here. I never wanted to do this, but I felt like it was necessary. And so, you know, I, I kind of stepped up and did this out of what I felt was necessity. All right, guys, thanks for joining in. And uh, this is good news, you know. Now, Fisker may still go bankrupt, you know, uh, there's no guarantees in the in the stock market world, but I think the share price should react very favorably to this. And let's get that stinking 10K out of the way tomorrow, and then maybe next week we can announce a partnership. That would just be, you know, fantastic. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, and until next time.